Hey guys, Dr. Burke here. In this video, we're going to talk about the cruciferous detox effect. Okay, so just check this out. See this book right here? This is called uh, Toxicology. What is toxicology? It's the study of poisons. Look at how thick this thing is. Okay, let me show you something. So this is called the basic science of poisons. These are all the different chemicals that a person is exposed to, pesticides, herbicides, and it shows you the the effects it has on the body, the diseases it creates, uh, where it gets, if it's accumulated in the kidney or the liver or the respiratory tract or the skin, okay? So this is interesting. It says that most chemicals that produce systemic toxicity do not cause a similar degree of toxicity in all organs. Instead, they usually elicit their major toxicity in only one or two organs. The target organ of toxicity is often not the site of the highest concentration of the chemical. For example, lead is concentrated in the bone. DDT is concentrated in the adipose tissue. Interesting. So now check this out. Biotransformation of xenobiotics. What does that mean? It's a, it's a fancy term for the elimination of chemicals from the body. So your body has the ability through the liver and through the enzymes to get rid of poisons. Okay. And the unique thing that you need to know about is that these poisons are fat soluble, not, they're not water soluble. So they get stuck in the fat cell. And that is the, an obstacle to their elimination because lipotrophic, which means chemicals that get stuck in the lipids or fats, lipotropic compounds can be e readily reabsorbed. Consequently, the elimination of xenobiotics, that's chemicals, often depends on their conversion to water-soluble chemicals by a process known as biotransformation. So our body basically has enzymes to break down fat-soluble chemicals into water-soluble chemicals. And this happens in the liver. So check out this next part. You got a liver, right? The liver's on the right side. The liver has the ability to detoxify chemicals. And every day we're exposed to pesticides, herbicides, chemicals, GMO foods. Don't get me started on that one. And the enzymes in the liver basically go from phase one to phase two. And they work together to take these really dangerous poisons and turn them into harmless, water-soluble particles. So that's what your liver does. But the problem is chronic exposure to these chemicals causes the speeding up of phase one, okay? What happens when you, when you don't balance these, and this goes too much, phase two gets overwhelmed and you get a backup of toxins throughout the body. So you cannot, you no longer can detoxify. You actually get sick and this, these toxins can spill off into the thyroid, into the uterus, into the breast, cause cancer. So if these were working together, you could actually kind of get rid of a lot of poisons that you're exposed to. So what cruciferous vegetables will do they enhance this process. What they'll do, they actually inhibit phase one. So they will slow down an overactive phase one and speed up a phase two to allow this process not to be overwhelmed, but to speed up the elimination of these chemicals. Now, like I said before, um, a lot of these chemicals that people are exposed to have a delayed effect for 20, 30, 40 years. So what affected you way back you know, when you are a kid is now starting to affect you now. And that's why it's hard to uh, connect the cause and effect relationship. And that's why it's so important to consume kale, arugula, bok choy, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cauliflower, collard greens, radish on a regular basis. So I suggest that uh, you start consuming these. If you want a more convenient um, way to get all of these, um, I have two things. One is the cruciferous. Some of you are already using this. This has a blend of all the cruciferous in an organic form. And the other form is a new um, product that I have called Estrogen Balance. I like this one a little bit more if you're a female because it has an additional uh, thing called DIM. Now, what is DIM? Well, two capsules of DIM, two capsules of this is equal to two pounds of cruciferous. So DIM is a highly concentrated cruciferous um, phytochemical that allows this process to happen a lot quicker. Okay, And you would start out taking one of these per day and you would get used to it. Then you would add two. You wouldn't need to go past two. But anything that um, 
you have an estrogen dominance because all these chemicals mimic estrogen in the environment. So you're talking like um, if you have heavy periods, uh, fibrocystic breast, fibroids, cystic acne, painful long periods, menopause symptoms, hot flashes, night sweats. Uh, this is really good to balance the estrogen. So it gets rid of the bad estrogen. It improves the good estrogen. It's not going to take all the estrogen out of your body. It's just going to convert it into the right level and help this detoxification process as well. So it has uh, properties. It has vitamin E. It has uh, kale. It has cabbage, a lot of cruciferous, but it also has the dim, turmeric, um, and a couple other things to support the adrenal. So it's like it's an upgraded version of my ovarian formula, but with a lot of enhancements, okay? So if you're interested in either one of these, you can click the link below and start checking it out, get some more information. But anyway, uh, I wanted to thank you for watching this. I hope you learned something new, and I will see you in the next video.